This is a video demo for Junos Pulse on smartphones. I'm your host, Kevin Fletcher. First, we'll start with the Apple iPhone. As you see here, we've configured a native ActiveSync proxy through our Secure Access SSL VPN. This is a native ActiveSync VIP, and we terminate the SSL ActiveSync connection, proxy it to the backend exchange server. The server here is simply a VIP on the SSL VPN. All of the standard ActiveSync solutions are supported, including contact lookup and push email. You can also enforce remote wipe and requiring a PIN in order to set up ActiveSync. Here you see we're doing a contact search via the functionality available in Apple iPhone. Now we'll look at core access and backend single sign-on support with the Apple iPhone. Here we are using the Apple iPhone Safari browser connecting to the SSL VPN and logging in. Once logged in here you will see a list of bookmarks and other resources which you may have access to. And accessing these bookmarks, if there is single sign-on required, it can be configured and enforced here. You'll see here is the backend internet server and the floating toolbar configured for the SLVPN role. Now let's take a look at the Palm WebOS. This is also ActiveSync. Again, native ActiveSync proxy using a, a VIP on the SLVPN, front-ended to a backend exchange server. And this is the Palm Web OS. Now we'll take a look at Nokia Symbian. This is Juno's Pulse on Symbian OS. We support Symbian S60 both the 3rd and 5th edition. The Symbian Juno's Pulse functionality is actually native Ike v2 solution and we've built a Pulse application here which uh, can be used to configure policy and set up the gateway address. Once that's been set up the way the Ike B2 VPN works is essentially it's on demand. So when an application uh, requires to use the VPN, it will automatically invoke the VPN at that time. So here we're pulling up uh, the internet server, which is accessible through the VPN. And this is just using the standard Nokia Symbian web browser. And this is tunneled over the layer 3 Ike B2 VPN. Pretty straightforward. This is Windows Mobile, now called Windows Phone. This is version 6.5. And this is Juno's Pulse on Windows Phone. This is the Pulse UI. Here we're going to look at the profile. Pretty straightforward. You set up a name and a URL. We support both certificate auth and regular password authentication. Also look at some of the other options here. You can edit profiles and create new ones. You can delete profiles. You can also pull up debug. This basically shows some of the options that are available for logging. And then we'll go ahead and sign in to Juno's Pulse. You'll also notice the pulse icon at the top of the screen in the menu bar. Changes from black and white to color once we are connected. There we go. And now we'll just pull up Juno's Pulse again and you can see some of the connection details here. Shows how long we've been connected and uh, packets sent received. It will also show any concurrent applications which are currently utilizing the Pulse VPN. 
Uh, so we can go ahead and test some of those right now. First we'll take a look at Internet Explorer. This is just regular Pocket IE running connecting directly to a back-end intranet server over the Pulse VPN session. And there's our intranet page. There's a little UI problem with the uh, web browser sometimes. you got to click this button. All right, let's take a look now here at Pulse. You can see we've got an application that's connected. We hit refresh so that you could see a bunch of uh, the hyper-threading going on here for the Pocket IE. Take a look at the details here. It shows what is configured for Pulse, which is also known as WSAM. You'll see we've got a destination mode set up for uh, domain and uh, subnet. And again, here's just a better look at the debugging UI and some of the options that we support with Juno's Pulse. The automatically connect is definitely recommended for folks that like to reboot their phone and have that kind of seamless always on uh, look and feel. And this is just some basic information here. Now we'll take a look here at one other application. This is Remote Desktop. This is basically just an RDP client that's available for Windows Phone. We're going to go ahead and connect over our Pulse VPN. And you'll see here it's uh, pretty straightforward. It just works. You could also publish applications here or have a full desktop experience. There's other applications such as Citrix and many other client server apps which many folks utilize on this. And that's pretty much about it. Once again, this is Juno's Pulse from Juniper Networks. And that concludes our demonstration. For more information, please visit us on the web at www.juniper.net.